everybody, it's Alison reading from my new book, Me Not You, The Trouble with Mainstream Feminism. I'm reading from chapter six, which is called Feminists and the Far Right. This is about anti-trans and anti-sex work feminism, which I argue is an extreme outgrowth of the politically white mainstream of the movement. Trans exclusionary and anti-sex work feminists represent peak political whiteness. They magnify mainstream feminist narcissism, not only centering themselves, but also acting as gatekeepers who withhold the designation woman from others. This especially applies to trans women, defined as biological men, while trans exclusionary feminists proclaim themselves adult human females, which leads to policing of other categories such as lesbian, reserved for adult human females attracted to each other and the juxtaposition of sex workers' rights and women's safety implicitly withholds womanhood from sex workers as well. This is a reassertion of the normative, economically productive body and reproductive sex. In this bourgeois mentality, neither the unnatural or the unrespectable woman can ever be a real woman. Instead, these women become the enemy. In reactionary feminism, the alertness to threat that characterises political whiteness becomes a mentality of us and them. They are the trans Taliban, they are the pimp lobby, and they have all the power. Sex workers are described as handmaidens of the patriarchy, or even orifices for sale. Trans women are defined as rapists and child abusers who, in Janice Raymond's words, should be morally mandated out of existence. The reactionary feminist will to power is then realised in necropolitics that harms these more marginalised women, under the guise of fighting powerful conspiratorial lobbies and asserting rightful ownership of womanhood and feminism. Here, the authoritarian overtones of political whiteness reach a crescendo. Sex workers are deliberately criminalised. Trans women are denied access to space and resources, especially in response to the right-wing fable that there is no longer enough to go around. And in its hoarding of resources and shutting of doors, in its defence against the necropolis, reactionary feminism is complicit with the border walls of the right. It also echoes the far right in its weaponization of women's safety. Reactionary feminists are the ultimate wounded white victims. They are endangered as a sex class by people who are simply trying to survive. They are content to be defended like property, by men who reserve their own right to perpetrate abuse. And I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and wash your hands.